Welcome to our time of devotion. Notice I'm in a different spot. I'm in my screened in porch. So it's a nice day out here and just thought, hey, give you a little different view. Minus this. Can't fix it. Not without surgery. Don't know if it would help. Anyway, we're going to be in on Matthew chapter 11. And we're going to be looking at something different today. Uh, we'd previously been in Matthew chapter 5 and looking at the Beatitudes. Well, now we're going to be in different sections of the Bible. And the first one is Matthew 11. And we're going to see the word blessed appears again. And again, that's the same word that was just used in Matthew 5. And here in this situation, we have John the Baptist, the one that was, that was paving the way for Jesus Christ. He is in jail. And he is worried that maybe Jesus really wasn't the Messiah. Maybe he wasn't the one because John was in prison. Things weren't going well for him. In fact, John ends up dying in that jail. And uh, he kind of has a bad ending. But his disciples, John's disciples, come to him and they ask this question. They say, hey, are you really the Messiah? And Jesus gives words of comfort. And when he's given words of comfort... He actually doesn't put the emphasis on him, on John. He puts the emphasis on Jesus. He says, hey, look, give him these words of comfort, and this will help him out. And then it wasn't until uh, the disciples leave that Jesus actually starts working through how wonderful John was. John was the greatest of all the prophets. John was really well thought of by Jesus. In fact, they were cousins. Uh, John the Baptist really has an important role in Scripture. But when John needed comfort, he didn't tell John how wonderful he was. He told how wonderful Jesus was. And when we're going through struggles, when we're going through trials, when we're going through a, a bad situation, we need to make sure that we're focused on Jesus Christ. And so let me just read those verses. It's going to be Matthew uh, chapter 11. We're going to read verses 4 through 6. Let me read those aloud. And it says, Jesus answered and said unto them, Go and show John again those things which ye do hear and see. The blind receive their sight, and the lame walk, and the lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear, and the dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. Now, verse 6 is our emphasis, and it says, And blessed is he, blessed is he, whosoever shall not be offended in me. While well, the blessing, the way to happiness, is to be willing to be offended in Jesus Christ. Uh, we're, a, we're a culture that loves to be offended. Uh, you can watch cable news every day, and there's something new for us to be offended for. You say, well, it's just the snowflake Democrats. It's just the snowflake Republicans. The catch is, we're snowflakes all too often. We ought not to be offended. Because we need to be offended, we need to take offense in Jesus Christ. We need to understand that when we do his work, that we're going to receive some flack. We're going to receive some pushback. Be offended in the right things. Trust me, the political party is not worth the, uh, the offense. Jesus Christ is worth the offense. So if you want to be happy, be offended in him. Now, uh, before I go, uh, I had a... I have, a, I have a problem. Every 30 minutes, I'm changing my outfit over and over and over throughout the day. This is actually the second outfit I've already had on today. Actually, third. This is my third change of clothes today. But my wife, she said, I'm going to leave you if you can't get this fixed. And I said, hey, I can change. Thank you for joining me. I hope you're doing well. Be blessed. Be happy. Follow biblical principles. We look forward to seeing you again.